They opened the cabinet and everything was drenched inside. And they noticed it even leaked to the basement, unfortunately. In their cedar room, it's like a sauna and kind of damaged the ceiling as well. Here we are at it again, helping out another one of our loyal customers. This client's issue was they had a leak from this cabinet here, in the cabinet, I should say. They didn't even realize they had a leak. They noticed some moisture on the mat in front of the kitchen sink and thought it was just from, you know, washing dishes or water splashing um, over the counter, etc. But then they said, nah, this is too much water too often. And last week, Wednesday, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, six days ago, they said, no, let's have a look. They opened the cabinet and everything was drenched inside. And they noticed it even leaked to the basement, unfortunately, in their cedar room. It's like a sauna and kind of damaged the ceiling as well. Now, oddly enough, this comes following a maintenance inspection we did not too long ago. And we actually shared with them that the valves are in poor shape and the valves should be replaced, as well as some other things being done. Customer chose not to do anything at that time. Unfortunately, it's too bad if you would have went ahead and taken our suggestions would have avoided this leak and this damage. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, replace the leaky stop valve. There's also a kitchen sink basta strainer assembly that's really rusted out in poor shape. We're gonna go ahead and get that too uh, looked after and their drain is uh, needs some help uh, cleanliness wise. So he chose a snaking option and not a power jetting option today because he's gonna be gutting his kitchen uh, for renovation within the next, uh, within, within a year, probably less. All right guys, take care.